You were sitting at the dining table, your laptop open in front of you while your fingers moving over the keys. The words on the screen blurred as your mind replayed the events from earlier at the office. No matter how hard you tried, you couldn't shake the stinging words of your boss from your thoughts. You've spent countless nights working on that project. Not only your hard work was called worse, but he insulted you in front of all your seniors and subordinates. This is what you have been working on, John Wayne. I expected more from you. This is mediocre at best. Mr. Choi, your boss, stood at the head of the conference table, flipping through your pages. You swallowed hard trying to keep your composure. You had worked tirelessly on this project, spending countless hours perfecting every detail, but when you presented it to your boss, his reaction was far from what you had expected. All your seniors and subordinates were looking at you. They always look up at you, but today he insulted you in front of everyone. But sir, I... He cut you off, waving the reports in, in your face. No excuses. This is unacceptable. Do you even understand the importance of this project or are you just useless? The words hit you like a punch to the gut. Useless. You had given everything to this project and now you were being told it was worthless. You felt tears prickling at the corner of your eyes, but you blinked them back, refusing to let them fall in front of him. Mr. Char shook his head. I don't have time for incompetence. Get out of my sight and don't come back until you have fixed this mess. You wiped your tears once more trying to focus on the reports in front of you. The numbers and graphs swam before your eyes but you, your mind kept drifting back to the harsh words of your boss. Just as you tried to refocus, you heard the front door unlock, signaling that your husband Jungkook is back from work. You quickly dabbed at your eyes, not wanting him to see you like this. The sound of his footsteps grew louder as he approached the kitchen. When he entered, you flashed a soft smile at him and got up. Welcome back. He walked near and tried to return your smile. He's a little shy and cold type, so this is how he looks even when he genuinely smiles. You're still working. You closed the laptop and poured some water in a glass before giving it to him. Thank you. I had nothing to do so I, I was just checking some reports. How was your day? He nodded putting the glass on the table as usual. Just a bit more work than usual. I hope you are taking it easy, don't ruin your health again. You said showing concern because recently he just recovered from a health issue that was caused by stress and overwork. Don't worry, I'm taking care. What about you? You had a presentation today, right? Your smile faded but you quickly put it back and nodded slightly, not wanting him to know that what actually happened. It was good, but I made a little mistake. Jungkook raised an eyebrow as he couldn't believe that. It's hard to believe that. You were working day and night for that. You just forced a smile. Okay, I'll go and freshen up. I'm tired today. He said losing his tie. I've ordered some food. Actually, I was also tired today, so I didn't cook. Jungkook looked at you. I'm fine with that and you should consider hiring a cook. No need to take all the responsibilities in your hands. He walked away while you sighed. You didn't hire a cook even though Jungkook had told you millions of times because you like cooking for him. It's like a therapy and a way to enjoy your happy married life or else this corporate life will consume you completely and still it won't be enough. Today you're feeling completely down and that's why you didn't feel like doing anything so you ordered from outside, trying to forget all that first. You reheat the food and served it until Jungkook was taking a shower.
After dinner, when Jungkook was going towards his room, he noticed that you were still working. He noticed a red rim under your eyes. He knew something was bothering you during dinner. You were looking a little upset. As a husband, he decided to talk to you, to give you support in whatever you were feeling. Although he is not good in expressing feelings, but he can't leave you like this. You are still working. It's almost midnight. He said coming inside the living room, grabbing your attention. I was just finishing off. He sat beside you, his eyes observing your face as he could read your eyes. Are you planning to get sick this time? He chuckled softly, trying to act normal, but it wasn't really coming out and he knew something was off. Don't worry, I'm strong. I won't get sick that easily. You looked at him, he was just looking at you that made you a little nervous. Sometimes it's okay to not pretend to be strong. Sometimes it's okay to share what's bothering you or upsetting you. You swallowed your heart melted as you couldn't pretend to be okay anymore. Now tell me what happened. You lowered your eyes, don't want to bother him for such thing. Nothing happened, it was just a long day at work. He didn't look convinced and his gaze was fixed on you. You know you are not a good liar, now tell me what's going on. You finally gave up, his words melted your heart and you couldn't hold that pain inside you. Tears filled in your eyes. It was a rough day at work. In my seven years of working today, I felt so humiliated. Jungkook's heart clenched as he felt pain in your voice. Did someone say anything to you? You sniffed and nodded, looking down the whole time. My boss, today he insulted me in front of everyone. He called me useless. You lift up your face to look at him. I worked so hard on this project, but he said it was mediocre and that I was useless. I don't understand what I did wrong. Jungkook's expression hardened with a mix of anger and sympathy. His heart broke to see you this way. Your boss is an idiot for not seeing how talented you are. Don't let his words define you. Do you did nothing wrong. He's so stupid to ignore your hard work. He was literally so angry, it hurts his feelings that his wife was insulted by someone i don't know where i lack i've been working over six months on this topic i thought i was completely ready i spent the day and night but he just threw the papers on my face all my seniors and juniors they all witnessed that i really felt useless your voice broke in the middle and a sob left from your mouth jungkook immediately hugged you he didn't able to see your condition. His heart broke into pieces to see tears in your eyes. Even though he doesn't show it openly, but he loves you unconditionally. For him, you are the reason why his dull life filled with colors, even though he didn't think he deserved all this. You are not useless. You are incredible and you work so hard. Your boss can't see that, but I do. Everyone who truly knows you can see it. Don't let his ignorance make you doubt yourself. I can't believe you tolerated his behavior. You should have teach him a lesson in his way. He doesn't deserve to be a boss when he doesn't know how to respect his employees. You clung to him feeling the warmth and strength of his embrace. His hand dropped soothing circles in your back, his presence calming your racing heart. You realized that this is all you needed after that heartbreaking incident. You needed someone to understand you and tell you that it's okay, you worked hard. And you were lucky enough that your husband, despite his cold nature, understands you and always there to support you and hold you in his arms when you are at your lowest. You are amazing, Ryan, and this moment doesn't define you. It's just a setback, not the end. You're going to get through this and you'll come out even stronger. You don't need to prove your worth, just work hard and one day he will definitely regret his words. 
You cried in his arms, letting out all the frustration and hurt. Jungkook held you through it all, whispering words of comfort and reassurance. When your sobs finally reduced, he gently pulled back, looking into your eyes. Remember, I'm always here for you. You don't have to go through this alone. I'm your husband, and you have to always come to me, no matter how hard things get. He said, wiping your tears away. You nodded. Thank you so much. I don't know what I will do without you. I was really sad. He hugged you again and closed his eyes. You don't have to worry about that because I will always be there for you. I love you. Thank you for everything. You said, hugging him back tightly. The next day you came at work even though you had no wish to face anyone after yesterday's incident the atmosphere was charged with excitement your boss mr choi was practically glowing as he prepared for the upcoming meeting with a major client everyone knew how crucial this deal was and securing it would be a significant achievement for the company but you weren't interested in this anymore after what he did to you yesterday jungkook's words really comforted you You slept in his arms as he held you close to his heart. The whole night he kept checking if you were okay. You really couldn't believe how strong your relationship has gotten even though there is not much exchange of words but you both are available for each other in your hard times. Today he left early for work because he told you that he had a very important meeting. You were thinking all this but the rush in the office was really keeping you occupied. The clock struck 10 a.m. and the boardroom was ready for the meeting. Mr. Choi along with several senior executives eagerly waiting for the CEO of the prospective client company to arrive. You were called into the room to help with the presentation and you took your place quietly, trying to avoid making eye contact with Mr. Choi. A few moments later the door opened and in walked Jungkook, followed by his team. You gasped softly as your eyes widening in surprise. You hadn't expected to see him here. Let alone realize he was the CEO of the company your boss was so eager to impress. Jungkook's eyes fell on you. He was in his professional demeanor. Your boss came near him. He was ready to give his best to impress Jungkook, not knowing he is your husband and probably not happy to see him after what he did to you. Good morning Mr. John. It's an honor to have you here. He said extending his hand. Jungkook shook his hand and sat on his seat. Good morning. Let's get started, shall we? Sure, we won't waste your precious time. The meeting immediately began. Mr. Choi launched into his presentation while Jungkook looked at you who was still shocked to see him. He purposely didn't tell you about this because he wanted to handle the situation in his way after hearing everything yesterday even though it's a business matter he won't let alone the person who insulted his wife As Mr. Choi concluded his speech he smiled confidently expecting a positive response Jungkook leaned back in his chair his gaze piercing I hope I made myself clear. Thank you for the presentation, Mr. Choi. I must say I've heard a lot about your company and I had high expectations coming into this meeting. Mr. Choi's face brightened, but Jungkook's next words wiped the smile off his face. However, I'm quite disappointed. The level of professionalism and respect shown to employees here is severely lacking. It's concerning to see how talented talent is undervalued and treated so poorly. Mr. Choi's face turned red. I assure you, Mr. John, we value our employees highly. Jungkook cut him off. His voice cold. Respect is not just about words, Mr. Choi. It's about actions. I've heard a recent case, and it's not only that. You're quite famous for your anger issues, and you are really rude towards your employees as well. 
you were quite surprised as well. You never thought he would actually take an action for you. Mr. Troy looked at you and then at him. His face turned pale as he didn't want to lose this deal at any cost. You must have been mistaken, sir. He paused when Jungkook raised his brow. I mean, you know how some haters are always up to ruining the images of successful businessmen like us. A few incidents happened in the past, but it doesn't defy anything now. Mr. Choi, seems like you are ignorant about what's going around you. A company that fails to recognize and appreciate the hard work and dedication of its staff is not a company we wish to associate with. Mr. Choi's jaw dropped, struggling to respond. Please hear me out, Mr. John. Why don't we start over? Let the past remain in the past. Jungkook looked at him and flashed his signature smile that looked more like a sarcasm than an actual smile. Sorry to disappoint you, Mr. Choi, but I take the past very seriously. We'll be taking our business elsewhere. It's clear that this partnership would not align with our values. Mr. Choi's face was worth watching when Jungkook and his team left. You don't know why Jungkook did that, but maybe it was a good lesson for your boss to reflect his past and behavior. You felt satisfied seeing him like this. I was literally shocked to see you there. Why didn't you tell me that you were the client for that project? Jungkook smiled and looked at you, who was sleeping resting your face on his chest, but lift up your face occasionally whenever you say something. It was a surprise. Do you like it? Like it? I was shocked when you entered inside. I had no idea that you were the CEO. He chuckled softly. I didn't want to reveal it until the right moment. Your boss needed to learn a lesson about respect. He said gently playing with your hair. You looked up at him, your eyes wide with curiosity and gratitude. You did all that just to teach him a lesson? Jungkook nodded, his expressions were serious. Absolutely, no one gets to treat you like that and get away with it. You deserve to be respected and appreciated for all your hard work. You let out a sigh, feeling a mix of relief and admiration. I still can't believe it. You really went out of your way for me. Jungkook's gaze softened. You are my wife and I'll always go out of my way for you. Seeing you hurt like that, I couldn't stand it. I wanted to make sure he understood what he did was wrong and he needed that lesson so that he would never disrespect any other employee again. He snuggled closer to him, feeling his warmth and comfort. Thank you, Jungkook. I don't know what I would have done without you. Yesterday was so hard and today I felt so much loved. Jungkook smiled, his thumb gently stroking your cheek. You don't have to worry about it. I'll always be here for you. And remember you are amazing at what you do. Don't let anyone make you feel otherwise. You felt tears prickling at the corner of your eyes, but this time they were tears of gratitude and love. I'm so lucky to have you. You always know how to make things right. Jungkook shook his head slightly, a tender smile playing on his lips. No, I'm the lucky one. Having you in my life is the best thing that ever happened to me. I love you and will forever. He placed a soft kiss on top of your head and wrapped both of his arms around you pulling you closer.